that's what I film and TV channel. You're all staying safe. And well, we've got a big budget film to look at today that's, uh, yes, uh, sort of uh, opinions on this vary, in fairness. Uh, it's not doing that great at the moment. Uh, and it's a film most of us perhaps were looking forward to. For me personally, it's not a total disaster, but there are there are problems with it. We're going to have a look at uh, the two hundred million pound budget, uh, ridiculous amount of money. The Foley Adieu, of course, uh, Joker Foley Adieu, of course, the second uh, Joker movie. Two hours eighteen minutes, so it's long, uh, which is okay. Uh, if there's good content in it. It's a fifties certificate. American musical psychological thrill. I think this surprised a few people. I, mean, I think the musical element, certainly when I read up things, uh, was sort of late in being realised by a lot of people who went to see this. Some people went and obviously were a little bit dis disappointed. Uh, psychological thriller watches, for me, are not necessarily fans of musicals. This is directed by Todd Phillips, loosely based on DC Comics uh, sequel to Joker 2019 of course it stars Phoenix of course reprising his role uh, as Arthur Fleck and we get Lady Gaga which is in a musical yeah quite an advantage it's got to be a plus hasn't it it's got to be a positive and uh, we get Lee Quinzel uh, sorry as Lee Quinzel uh, Zazie Beats also reprises her role from the previous film. And we have a, a couple of new additions. Uh, there's not a big amount of characters in this. Brendan Gleeson's in this. Is looking, uh, I'd say he was looking well. I think he's lost a little bit of weight. So that could be good or a bad thing. If he's meant to lose it, uh, well done, Brendan. And Catherine Keener. Uh, we're not getting any younger, though, are we, guys? Um, Brendan's probably, uh, say, it's, uh, he used to see him in lots of films from years ago. He perhaps forget that it's... Uh, Years are passing for us all, aren't they? So we'll have a look at this, what it's about, etc. And we'll see what I think. We'll see what other people are thinking as well, which is important. Please, if you do want to support the channel, of course, if you can, press that subscribe button. If you've not already done so, that's wonderful. Press the bell notification. All these vlogs are coming out. Of course, I do football stuff as well on my team, Manchester City. If that's of any interest, or you know someone who might be, uh, but don't worry if you're not. It's plenty of film and TV stuff. We do have memberships as well to support the channel. 99p a month, which gives you immediate access to everything I do. We do have sponsors, uh, which are Piat6505. They've got a little uh, eBay shop. Uh, there's a link in the comments below, so just follow that. They sell movie posters and DVDs. So if you fancy that, guys, my thanks to Piat6505 for their support. If you're interested yourself in supporting the channel or the football channel or both, uh, please get in touch. And, uh, say my thanks to Piat6505. If you do mention me, if you do fancy placing an order, mention me, and you'll automatically get 10% off as well. And uh, They've got 100% feedback on eBay. They've been on there 12, 13 years. You have my guarantee there won't be any problems with, with whatever you order anyway. Of course, to help support me, you can watch the ads. That's helped me in a little way, of course. Follow the links. Uh, I've done it myself when I've watched a, a vlog of someone else's. If it's something I fancy, that helps me out. And even more importantly, just give us a, just give us a like, guys. That's wonderful. And just uh, let me know your comments on this film, which uh, will be will greatly interest me. Let me know if you like musicals as well. I think that's a very important part of this. What's it about? Well, we find Arthur, institutionalised at Arkham, awaiting trial for his crimes as a Joker, of course. While struggling with his dual identity, Arthur not only stumbles upon true love, sort of, but also finds the music that's always been inside him. Yes, thanks to Lady Gaga drawing it out of him. This was released... General release in the US on or around October the 4th. Check your territories, but worldwide it's been released uh, around about that date, 2024. I'm doing this review on the 7th of October 2024. So all comments or scores are quote, or is it that date? And the first thing I have to say, really, my little comments on it is $200 million, really. Um, I don't know where the money went. <laughs> in fairness uh, but yeah probably on, on Lady Gaga and Joachim Phoenix I don't know but uh, I didn't see the production values for a £200 million budget film I like this because we have potential we have potential with a prison and of course we have a potential with a trial going on I like courtroom dramas I like prison dramas uh, uh, you know but uh, why the musical I'm not too sure but again that gives us potential the musical gives us potential as well don't get me wrong as I said I'm a big big musical fan but it's only for this they've just used standard musical numbers and nothing been re nothing been created for this uh, no songs been created so 
for me, there's no real movement along the story by putting this these musical numbers in. It just really fills the time. Uh, a bit depressing if you think of something like Chicago that had a lot of original stuff and some already done stuff in it. And films like Moulin Rouge, of course, are not psychological thrillers, but Moulin Rouge made made the story move along when you got the musical. This this doesn't really move it along at all, apart from getting to know the two characters. And for a 200 million budget, uh, I just really didn't think it was that good overall. I felt a bit disappointed. About 90 minutes in, there is room for improvement when something, I won't give any spoilers in this, so there is room for improvement, but we really have to wait that long for something to develop. Lady Gaga and Phoenix, of course, very, very watchable. Uh, and when let off the leash, actually acting a bit, uh, it was pretty good. Uh, the chemistry is excellent between them. Uh, the musical chemistry is excellent between them as well, though pointless at times. Uh, but it's just a shame they weren't given more of a script and a story to work to. For me, we could have easily had a darker Chicago. Obviously, you think of Chicago, there's prison elements and trial elements. So, you know, you, we could have had a darker version of that, but it never quite got there. Special mention as well for a, 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 I was going to say a little actor. Then my apologies, it's the wrong word to use, but I didn't mean it in a derogatory way. But Lee Gill is Gary P uh, Gary Puddles, of course, who who features late in the film. And he's only on screen for five minutes, but. Uh, that, the scene with with him and the Joker for me was was one of the best in the film, and that was that was uh, just just a great little piece. The film has been met positively by a few, but not a load, and I applaud what it try is trying to do. But far too many, I think, will be disappointed watching this. As I say, as psychological thriller fans, not necessarily people who like people bursting into song. Um, and of course, it's a genre. Uh, psychological music, musical thriller is a genre not overpopulated. Uh, but of course, with Lady Gaga, this should have perhaps been better and set a benchmark perhaps for future psychological musical thrillers, which <laughs> I'm sure uh, we're not going to get loads of, but it could have set a benchmark this, and I, I think I don't think it does. Uh, if, the, if, the, say, if the musical numbers actually added to the story, then it might have done, but sadly they don't. Uh, pleasant enough, I won't particularly be buying the soundtrack, although listening to Lady Gaga sing classics is fine. Uh, could be persuasive or could be persuaded to do that. The, th the trouble is with this film, it intrigued and bored me in equal amounts. I did get a little bored with it. Not a total waste of two hours plus, but uh, sadly I think it will be for many viewers. We'll talk about that in a minute. But my scores, uh, Rotten Tomatoes... <sighs> I'd have to be fresh, just, only just though, because I can't be rotten totally, as I say, it's, I'm a bit sat on the fence, because when I go over to Metacritic, I'm mixed on that, I'm neither positive nor negative, because as I say, I do like musicals, I like psychological thrillers, so it wasn't too bad on that score, I am going to give it a score, but only just, my lowest score I give anything is 5 out of 10, and that's what I'm going to give this, if it gets less than 5 out of 10, I don't usually give a score, but... Uh, yeah, uh, that's personal. I think a lot of people will be disappointed with that. Well, let's have a look at some of the other scores. Rotten Tomatoes, 5 out of 10, like me, and that's 266 critics, so a hell of a lot. 89 were fresh, but 177 were rotten, so two-thirds against on that one. The consensus, Joaquin Phoenix's eponymous Joker takes a stand in a sequel that dances around while the story remains still. Yeah, I think that's... More or less what I said. Although Lady Gaga's wild card energy gives Follett a do some verb. It certainly does. Lady, all credit to Lady Gaga. Brilliant. Um, to a lesser extent, Joachim. But uh, Lady Gaga's excellent in this. And I want to see more of her, of course, in this role going forward. Uh, without the music, perhaps. Metacritic, 57 critics. Just getting 45. There was 18 positive, 24 mixed like me. I'm 15 negative. John Nugent from Empire Film Magazine said, As sweet and beguiling a musical romance as it's possible to have between two murderous psychopaths, its kooky approach won't suit all stri stripes of comic book fan. It won't. But it finds a strange, tragic hopefulness all of its own. So John Nugent, was, was like, eight is a bit high, but obviously he's sort of... I feel some of what he's feeling there. But Jordan Farley for Total Film Magazine, which currently exists but won't be existing for much longer. Uh, part courtroom movie, part behind Ro Bar's romance. Folly Adieu is an unconventional musical sequel that fails to hit the high notes. Yeah, so I'm a bit between the two in fairness. 
Rotten Tomatoes audience where it all matters. Joe Public, 2.4 out of 5, 4.8 out of 10 again. Metacritic uses 4.2 out of 10. So it's anywhere between 4 and 5, this, isn't it? But a little bit more, a little bit more internet movie database. 46,000 scores and reviews. I think this will hover around this score now. 5.3, so just a bit better than I'm giving it, but uh, not fantastic. So splitting opinions totally, this uh, second joker. Let's hope the third one is a little bit more routine, if you like, as far as storytelling is concerned. A bit more DC Comics. Is. They, don't, they don't particularly, well, they do burst into song and comics, of course you do. You get little tuned things and stuff, but uh, you know what I mean. It doesn't... Doesn't perhaps suit it. A brave attempt, a brave attempt for me, but it just didn't quite work. Let me know what you think, guys. Uh, my socials are on screen. If you want to get in touch about anything to support the channel, that'd be absolutely fantastic. As I said, a shout out P at six six five zero five. My current sponsors and their little uh, DVD and poster shop. Uh, check it out if you can, guys. Fill your boots. Uh, be much appreciated. And let me know what you thought of this Joker film. Until we meet again, only ever ask one thing, don't I? Please stay safe, everyone. Bye for now.